So this is the Loza Genius program and uh, all the pictures, whatever we show here are actually from the last year's uh, program. So you can see that they are listening to lectures, they're having fun, and we have great people um, actually teaching them. This is the full cohort. Uh, uh, what in picture you can actually see that's the library of Ashoka, and we have see all we can see all the hundred students standing there. Uh, this was the uh, end of the program once they completed. Okay, so uh, this time we are going to have uh, the twenty twenty three cohort. As you know, that the students who are enrolled in the program already, they don't have to apply, they don't have to write the test. They are already in. It's the same for you if you get into the program. There are new students here. Uh, so we will have a certain fraction of the 2023 cohort who will all have an advanced module compared to the new entrants. And we also have the 2024 cohort. So we uh, assume to, we, we think we could take around 130 of you uh, into the new cohort and we have uh, we might have around 50, 40, 50 um, from the previous cohort. And total, we have around 180. And we also have a fraction of the ninth and 10th uh, grade students where we will be taking 60 and 60, and the 11th and 12th will be 30 and 30. So the total intake is 180. And this includes the uh, classes of the 2023 cohort. Okay, so then we had great people last time coming and speaking. We, this is just four examples that you could see. Uh, who sort of inspired and motivated the kids. They engaged with the kids and uh, there was a very nice interaction. And this is also a time when you actually get to know the failure stories of these great people and how did they succeed. I think that's, that's, that's the, that's the uh, goal of uh, the session that you can actually talk about these things uh, uh, openly where you, you might not know. You always see the, their success, but you don't know what went behind, right? So, uh, and then uh, this year we are planning to treat the ninth and 10th standard, 9th, uh, 10th standard, and 11th and 12th standard as separate because there is a certain difference in the conceptual understanding in these uh, in these students. So, the 9th and 10th will have to take both applied mathematics courses and also they'll have to take some workshops. So, we have a set of 10 to 12 workshops offered. And um, there's, there are uh, less intense ones, which are five-day workshops, and there are more intense ones, which are 10-day workshops. So you can choose depending on, their, uh, depending on their interest, what kind of workshops you want to go to. These are some examples that I would like to put forth. Uh, and then you have uh, in mathematics, so it's not only a science program, right? I think that's the uniqueness of it, that we bring to you mathematics and science. So we have uh, the mathematics program is divided into two. So one is called the Maths for All, which is application-based mathematics. So this is for everybody to have a, a foundation level understanding of uh, how maths play a role when you take even biology, physics, chemistry, and so on and so forth. So you don't have to be brilliant at maths or you might not even be good at maths, but this will help you to understand your science better in case if you're interested in science. And then we have something which is a very niche area, which is a mathematics problem solving. And it's an elective, and it's only for those students who are interested in doing that. This is the uh, International Olympiad level mathematic training. So it's not for all, of course. There are some students who like it. So, and also there will be a, 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 a certain level of analysis for you guys, because the instructors who are actually um, international Olympiad trainers, they will come and they will spend time with you. They will uh, give you some problems and see how you score and uh, whether uh, it's good to take you forward into the maths problem solving elective. And that's also good for you so that you get some feedback and you can see how you can work it out. All right. So now uh, when you come to, uh, you know, the ninth and the 11th and 12th standard students, so you will be given a project for a month on any of these areas. So of course, you we let you pick which area you want to be. And it, you can see it's as diverse as possible. We have life sciences, microscopy, chemistry, arts and astronomy, industrial design, so many, so many of those, technology education, uh, and also physics. Uh, so uh, we will, you know, once you're shortlisted, we will do, uh, 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 we will uh, let you know what are the topics available. We'll give you a brief so that you completely understand what you're getting into. And then you give a order of preference. So. It's all done in a step by step. You don't have to worry about it. And of course, we also take you beyond the classroom. There are a number of field trips in and around 
Sonipat, where Ashoka University is, because it's a residential program, right? So it's a residential program for 9 to 12 standard kids. And uh, so these students will come and live on the campus for one month, which is from May 17th to June 17th. And so uh, some of them, which are 11th and 12th, especially from the 2023 cohort, we have field trips planned for them somewhere a bit far away from Ashoka uh, for like four or five days. Um, and uh, But for the new batch, it will be in and around um, Sonipat. But then uh, it will be quite interesting for you to look around nature and science and see how you can sort of apply it. So these are some of the uh, shots from last last year. And and you can actually see the person here is Manu Prakash from Stanford. He's an amazing, amazing scientist. And uh, he's a bioengineer. Uh, and also he sort of gives a new perspective for how to uh, do exploratory science. So uh, we have many, many modules like this um, next year also. And of course, Ashoka has a fantastic facility uh, for, for you to enjoy your free time, to do sports, be physically active. And we also give you a lot of platform to explore yourself, explore your talent. You can organize whatever you want. You can, so you will have talent time, we have music, we have astronomy, board game clubs. Uh, astronomy clubs is like stargazing, uh, you know, clubs and things like that. So, and also you can also take initiative. Like if you want to organize a debate, uh, which Krishya, uh, if you can see here, has wonderfully done. So uh, we will be very, very happy that if you come forward, um, with these ideas um so basically uh as i said the ninth and tenth will be dealt like a junior batch and the 11th and 12th students will be dealt like a senior batch and we have um you know these different kinds of uh training modules for the ninth and tenth and we have 11th and 12th is more focused so you can take either math or science okay because we need you we need you to concentrate on one of the things and then these projects are like capstone projects and uh, so uh, it's important that you spend time just not to do it because these are all hands on even for 9th and 10th uh, so you will also need some reflection time and to discuss with each other and work as a team so uh, we are mindful of that and so we are, we are going to separate it out into maths or science and i guess by by the time you reach 11th and 12th you're sort of clear whether you want to do maths or science all right. So that is one thing. And uh, then uh, we have a credit based approach for all of all of these. Uh, and uh, this will help you also to choose the uh, courses depending upon the intensity, because sometimes you might be excited to do everything. But, you know, uh, you're all humans and sometimes it's not possible to put your head into everything. So we sort of put this credit based approach so that uh, you don't exhaust yourself, but at the same time, uh, you find value in whatever you do. So, uh, so that is the, so that is the uh, end of the presentation about the content of the curriculum. So, again, as I said, for the twenty twenty three cohort, we will have capstone projects which are designed just for them. So now I'm going to go into another presentation i'll take questions at the end of it okay so that uh, so that we are all uh, uh, aligned here so all right so let's go to the next one which is the test structure ah here you go all right so the purpose of this webinar is to sort of give you an, an idea of how this online admission test is going to be. So uh, you would have noticed if you have applied or attempted to apply for this program uh, that uh, we ask for your mark sheets, right? Two, two years of mark sheets. So it can be any two years. I'm just clarifying here that uh, sometimes if you don't have the available mark sheet in the website, you might see that you have to upload 10 or 11 or 9 or 10, depending upon which class you are in but you don't have to worry. Please upload whichever mark sheets uh, that you have of previous two years. If you don't have a mark sheet, uh, please um, write to us at this web uh, email ID that's given there in the chat box, Lodha Genius Program at ashoka.edu.in. And we'll figure out a solution because some of you are not coming from a school who gives a conventional mark sheet. So that is fine. Um, and uh, so uh, the admission, so the mark sheets are just for us to understand uh, where in the spectrum you fall, okay? Because we are doing a lot of analysis and follow through. 
for each student who gets enrolled into the program. So it's very essential to see with formal education where you stand and things like that. The mark sheets are primarily for that, nothing else. And uh, what we look at is the online admission test. Uh, and this test is not going to be in December. This is going to be in February. We had earlier said December and we realized we got so many um, questions uh, and queries, concerns that uh, there are so many exams happening at that time. So we're shifting it. So we're going to shift it to February. So it will be on February 3rd, Saturday. So uh, it will be an online test and uh, you will be, uh, once you apply and submit by the end of Jan, you will all be given a, uh, a password and a login. So you will all receive it to the email ID you have used to register uh, for the application. And once you you know click on it, you open the page, and then you get into the you get into the uh, pla uh, get into the platform, and then you can sort of start taking your test. Okay, so how the test will be placed is that it's a it's a one hour test. Okay, so I just go into that. So you can actually see the different stages of admission process, online application. I'm sure many of you have. Um, uh, started the application and some of you have submitted the application if you have not please do it fast because we need to close it by 30th november which is end of this week uh which is thursday and then once you do this you will uh get a uh you will get the uh intimation for the test not now later in in january so you don't have to worry if you don't get any email or anything until then about the test so it will be end of january that you will be getting a, a log a username and password and all that to log into the test. And all the instructions on how to do this, everything will be clearly written and sent to you. So you don't have to worry about that. And we might do many more uh, webinars to see your queries and things like that. So don't worry about it. This is just to give you an understanding of how this is going to work. So after the test, then we have an online interview for the shortlisted candidates, which is not a factual interview. It is just to see whether, what is, are you serious about it? What is your intent and things like that. And for us also to understand what kind of students are coming into this program because it's a 100% scholarship program. There's no cost involved, right? So then we just want to know which is your background and it helps us to sort of tailor things according to you. And this is why we do this online interview. It can be just a telephone call, that's it. All right, so the test components are sort of categorized into four uh, groups. So one group is logical reasoning and basic mathematics. So you need to, again, it doesn't mean that um, you need to really know mathematics and you have to be like really good at it, but then some sort of a, uh, some sort of a logical reasoning capacity is required for that. And uh, sorry, then you have the analytical reasoning bit and where we just check, again, uh, the logical reasoning and basic mathematics and analytical reasoning sort of goes hand in hand. So if you are very good in mathematics, you will have a bend to crack these questions. And these are very, uh, like, you know, standard numerical an analysis, analysis and the pattern recognition and things, things of that sort. And this is for us to also gauge uh, how good you would do in the maths programs. So that will also help us to sort of understand where you fall. So the other one is social intelligence that you can see. This is more to do with your behavior and how, how you sort of, uh, you know, take, uh, uh, I mean, make use of the situations and things like that. So this is something which is an individualistic overview, what you get, nothing to do with facts. So basically something like, you know, if you are in a plane and the plane is going to crash and there are, uh, there's one parachute and you will be given options. What would you do with it? Will you dump yourself with a parachute or you will give it to the pilot or you will give it to, uh, I don't know, your mother. So something like that. So which is very situational and uh, which helps you to understand as a person, how do you work with a group and what is the spirit that you're bringing in? So this also might be uh, interesting for us to see how people think. And the fourth one is a scientific inquisitiveness. And this is again, not factual at all. It's not based on, uh, uh, questions which you have, you know, uh, study, I mean, answers which you have studied in school or something like that. So it is very, very generic. Like, you know, for example, if you have a lot of batteries which are not working in your house, what do you do with them? And uh, how do you, how do you destroy them? How do you dispose them? So very everyday kind of questions which are relevant and which every, every student should know. So it is based on these kind of questions. So you don't have to worry about preparing it so much. It is something that which is within you. 
so that is why and do, we do not give sample question papers because many people ask for that. It is for us to understand how are you as a person and uh, how do you how do you think and how do you evaluate and how do you extract information. So and you don't have to worry for children who are coming from government schools. Um, actually, we did have a lot of them. I think around 30, 40 percent were from government schools. Uh, and uh, uh, they the what is required for the program is just comprehensibility in terms of English. That's it. OK, so you don't have to worry that these questions are going to be very literary. It will have a lot of English. You don't have to worry about that. These will be very simple questions which you can read and understand because we expect at least people to understand English. You don't have to speak English fluently or anything. That's completely fine because we have programs which are tailor made to sort of make your transition easier. So there will be bridge programs and things like that, which there's another webinar which just got over a couple of weeks back about it. So you can watch that. So essentially, the test is a one hour online test. So 30 minutes for part A, 30 minutes for part B. And the part A will focus on the logical reasoning and uh, basic mathematics, analytical reasoning. And uh, so that will be the focus area. And the question type is multiple choice question, which most of you might be knowing. And the duration for the part A is 30 minutes. And the number of questions you will have will be 60 and you will have uh, one mark per question and there's no negative marking. So what I can give you as a tip is do not spend time on one particular question if you're not sure. If you're unsure or sure, please give, it, give an answer because there's no negative marking, okay? So you can progress. And the part B, once you finish part A, uh, and if your time gets over in 30 minutes and if you're not, uh, if you're not completed uh, your 60 questions, it's fine because what we are looking at is both a balance of part A and part B. So part B is uh, uh, mostly focused on scientific inquisitiveness and social intelligence, just the way I explained. And the question types are MCQ and MSQ. So one is multiple choice question and the other one you can actually choose uh, many questions. Uh, many There could be many answers. There could be two answers. There could be three answers. So, uh, so you have to think carefully. Just don't, uh, just don't tick one and then... Uh, get satisfied with that. So the duration is around 30 minutes and the questions, what you can expect, this is a ratio of MCQ and the the answers, which the questions which have multiple answers, 26 and 16. And the score is a bit different because the, uh, the one which has multiple answers as option is a bit more tougher. It is also for you, for us to sort of uh, make the selection process easier. Again, there is no negative marks. So please, do not get stuck with one question. Please move ahead if you don't know the answer, but pick some answer because uh, there's no negative mark. So this is this is sort of the end of the presentation for the test. And now I think we should take questions and that will be easier. Uh, so let's see. Most of the questions, I guess, are answered here, I guess. And uh, let's see if we have any more questions. So I'm just going to read some of the questions uh, because I think, uh, I don't know whether everyone sees the Q&A box. Okay, so there are questions about recommendation letter. Recommended, the recommendation letter from the principal or teachers is not mandatory. So you can submit it later. It's an optional thing. We will not consider if, uh, I mean, we will definitely consider the application even if you don't have a like, recommendation letter. Okay, so that is the thing. So there is, uh, I don't understand the 2023 cohort part. So uh, 2023 do not have, 2023 cohort is are the children who actually came in in the last summer, okay, for, they were here for a month in Ashoka University and they were enrolled into the program and they're still in the program. So they uh, they can come back. So it's a loop-in program. So these students who come back, that they are called the 2023 cohort, okay? So they are given advanced level projects because they already had one level of training with us and they are still being continuously mentored. So they will be having capstone projects in 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 maths or science so they will be given an option to choose it and they will be doing it so please raise your hand if you want more explanation about it or if you want to um, uh, understand it better 
Can you give an example of a question of social intelligence? I already gave. I can repeat it again. So if you are in a flight with a uh, where where there is a, a bomb or the flight is going to crash and you have a parachute, what will you do with it? You know something which actually sh uh, shows how do you act up to a situation. That is that is a social intelligence thing. Or how do you show how would you uh, act as a team player? Uh, that that will be the kind of questions. So what are the dates of the actual program since I have school till June, like all international schools? So uh, the dates of the program is from May 17th to June 17th. And last time we did have uh, children who had classes during that time because we cannot align to all kinds of boards and all kinds of states because everybody has vacation during um, different times. Uh, but you could actually ask the principal to give you permission to skip your classes and attend the program. And this is what has people been doing in the past because this program would add a lot of value to you and value to your school. Uh, so the, in case you need some letter from us saying that you need, you want to skip it, you could contact us and we'll help you with that. But then if you this will be during May 17th to June 17th. Uh, time schedule for 9th and 10th grade workshop. So again, this is a residential program. So the students are going to be in Ashoka 24-7 for one month. So the time would be in the afternoon for the 9th and 10th grade workshop. It will be for around uh, uh, three hours. But then uh, the students are going to be um, uh, completely uh, doing some something all the time. So in the morning, they will be having the foundation courses for applied mathematics. And the afternoon, they will be having workshops. So. What is a passing score? There is no passing score. It's a relative uh, scoring. It depends on how everybody is scoring in, in, the, in that cohort. Uh, OK. OK, I mean, there's a lot of answers. I'm not able to figure out uh, which question to read. Uh, how, how can we prepare for tests like what should we first start with? Study materials and also what about interview? OK, so the test actually doesn't need preparation, as I said. It is something that you have to be uh, you have to be quite uh, decent at um, doing all these parts, you know, numeric number series, numeric analysis, and how do you react to a situation? So nothing is factual. So ideally, there is no preparation required for these kind of things. It is something that if you if you like science and if you like maths, you would have observed these things in your everyday life, right? So you it's it's something to do with you as a person, as a student, as a person. So you don't have to, there's no study material for it. It is something which is which is uh, inherently coming from you. So you don't have to prepare at all. And it's not a big deal. Uh, you just have to write the test and uh, do not get nervous about it. Do not get tense about it. The questions are not going to be that tough. And what about interview? Again, interview is about the intent. It's not about a fact. It's not, we are not going to ask you any question saying, you know, what is the density of mercury or something like that. It is going to, it is for us to know that who you are, where you come from and things like that. So, and if you say, if if your intent is clear why you want to be part of the program, then it's it's quite good for us. How is the day planned for the kids after selection? So we'll do another webinar sometime later about it in detail about the curriculum. But uh, the day is, uh, we'll have uh, five hours a day for academic sections. Uh, sessions. Uh, so it's like, you know, every day morning, they will have a two hour session of um, for ninth and 10th, if you're asking a uh, two hour session of um, applied mathematics, which is very fundamental applied mathematics, because that is not something that you learn in school. Then in the afternoon, you will have workshops uh, for around three hours. And then you will be doing voluntary activities uh, with some organization called Shramdhan in Ashoka. So that will also help you to get to understand the values and to, you know, how to give back to the society and uh, uh, to get an idea of how the, uh, uh, you know, uh, after learning all these things, you know, what is the real education and how do you give back and how do you help the community and things like that. And there are also many workshops around uh, gender and sexuality and there are workshops around um, uh, your mental health and uh, entrepreneurship and things like that. So many things are planned and uh, five hours per day would be the pure academic sessions. And they will also have like twice a week, uh, a seminar by, a, by a, a person which is equal to a Nobel laureate or a Nobel laureate or a field medalist. 
coming in. So last time we had a Nobel laureate, Jack Zostak, but after we had many faculties coming and talking to the kids. So that happens twice a week. So what if we want to submit the letter of recommendation if we already have submitted an application before? So there is a sub there is a email where you have to enter in the application when you sub when you have applied uh, to just say that uh, this is the email ID of the principal or the teacher from your school. So you have to enter that email ID and the mail goes to that person. So that is how and they will have to upload the letter of recommendation. I mean, not upload, they have to click on the link and then they have to tick some things. How many marks are required for cutoff? There's no cutoff, it's a relative um, scoring. It depends on how people are, um, how people have attempted. What do I do if I can't skip school in the last two months because exams take place in this time? In the last two months of what? The course is for one month. I Sorry, I didn't understand the question. I am a doctor student in Germany. I help children from my village to apply for this program, which is great. I know some parents who are not learned. Should we skip LOR with the assurance that it won't affect the acceptance letter compared to students whose LOR submitted? No, we wouldn't make any distinction based uh, on that. So please ask them to apply. LOR is an optional thing. What are the types of projects for ninth graders? Uh, so I had shown you, probably I should go back to the slide or you were not present at the time. I'm just going to show you that. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So this is the kind of workshops, if you can see the screen, so there will be a, a science communication workshops. There will be full scope workshop. Full scope is like a small microscope. Okay, so it's like made of paper, and it's it's really fabulous to see things. And it is something which you can carry home, which you can take every day, and uh, that shows a concept of how simple it is. You know, just documentation, observing things. Then you have something called archive creation. You know, the about the museum creation. How do you preserve things which are in science? How do you build a story in science? Then we have telescope building that's done by the uh, uh, Ayuka, that is the Astronomy Institute in India. Uh, and they will come down and then they, they give a, a workshop on telescope building and give, give every student a telescope to take home, which they have built themselves. And we also have arts and science workshops like arts and astronomy. And uh, we ha also have uh, you know science through theater. And we also have AI and robotics. So, and we also have the science of Indian cooking, where we are introducing chemistry uh, in a context of cooking and show you how chemistry is relevant in all these things so that you don't have a very cage setup. So these are some examples of these uh, workshops that is there. And there's a workshop on sustainability. How do you measure carbon footprint? How do you know uh, food wastage? How do you know how to recycle? What is the concept behind it? You know, all the SDG goals, the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, all these things will be taught so that the student has a very holistic learning approach. So I guess that helps. Um, Is it percentage based or percentile based? I think the question is about the test. Uh, it is going to be percentile based, yeah. Benefits of the workshop, okay. So benefits of the workshop is for the ninth and 10th is to sort of introduce different concepts which are not introduced in schools because in many, many of the places, there is a huge gap between what is taught in school and what is the reality, you know. So our idea is to introduce these concepts and not through classes because that is that's what the children have been listening to, right? And sometimes you miss details because you don't have the hands-on experience. So the hands-on thing on the workshop, the exercises that you do to learn these concepts are very important for you to, uh, one is read more about it, understand more about it, and also to reflect more about it. So there are benefits of the workshop is that you're going to get a very different perspective about things like arts and astronomy, who thinks about that, right? So that's how, you know, even for your career, even to have a good career, you need to have these skills sort of developed at a very early stage. And if you do not know of the existence, or if you don't know that 
these things exist. There are people who are doing these things. There are researchers who are doing these things. Uh, you might not even realize that you like it. So our idea is that we introduce the concepts through workshops, through hands-on training, through exercises, so that it's not a very boring thing. It's a very interesting thing. And also to see what you really like in life, what, what you like to do in life. And so this will be very reflective for them and will help you make choices and the right choices. And I think that's that's the benefit of the workshop. Uh, it's, I'm in 12th grade and our board tracks start on Jan, maybe there on February 3rd with revision two. It seems pretty inconvenient. I mean, I mean, I know that everybody, you're in 12th grade, right? So in, if you're in 12th grade, you cannot apply to the program because you will be finishing the 12th grade. So I also have to stress on the fact that you have to be in 9th, 10th, 11th or 12th as of May 2024. So if you have given exams of 12th, you will not be able eligible to enter into the program okay but if you have given the exam on uh, in you know in march or something uh, the eighth standard exam the final exam that means you will be ninth after that right so then you can enroll into the program how does the one year online mentorship work and what is it for specifically so okay so the online mentorship is a way for us to connect to you so one is uh, once you enroll into the program, you have access to all the uh, library resources, e-resources of Ashoka, which were which which actually cost a lot of money. Uh, it is a mix of books, it mix of science science journals, math journals, uh, and then you also uh, have be given a lot of suggestive reading. So we use Google Classroom format. So we give suggestive reading on the different subjects of your choice. You could do that. You could just take and download it. You can also have quizzes. You will also have challenges, tasks, etc. To also to challenge yourself to see. And we also are planning to start a mentoring program where each one of you will be mentored. You like there will be something like of a strength weakness analysis and to see what is the other thing that you need to sort of uh, make make it better for you. So there will be somebody who will be mentoring you, suggesting you what to do and how to do it and how to do it better and things like that. So that's a very individual mentoring. And if you have any issues, you could discuss with this person. So it is uh, that is that is what the mentoring module is. Um, in May 2024, my 11th would have just ended to do so in the school's detail section. Should I write 12th or 11th? Uh, you would have ended. So you will be in 12th when you come for the program, um, right? So yeah, you can write 12th. Many, may, any idea of the relative score we should score to get selected? Uh, relative means if your friend has five and the other friend has 10, and if you have two, then you won't be selected, okay? But if you have five, uh, if you have seven and the other one has five and the other one have 10, and if you have, there are two people who are going to be selected, you will be selected. That's what relative scoring means. So, Stay will be on twin sharing basis. Yes, there will be. So we will do a, I think there's already a webinar uh, which was done in the second week, right, Manvindra? It was yes, in the yeah. second, yeah, where we actually showed uh, the Ashoka facilities and everything. Did, 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 did they discuss at that time about the accommodation? Yeah, they did. Okay, so you can actually, it will be twin sharing basis, but if you want to know more about it, you can go to the website. The webinar is recorded. And uh, every detail about the accommodation, the places. I think there might be some pictures also, right? Yeah. 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 So you get an idea of uh, how it is to live in Ashoka. How many students are taken in the first round of applications and how many in the second round? Total, we'll have an intake of 180. So if we have uh, 30 to 40 students uh, from the last round, we will be... Uh, having around 140 students total. Uh, we cannot say how many first round of applications and second. How many students would be selected for the program? I just answered that. What is the syllabus of the admission test? Uh, we just showed it the entire thing. So you can rewatch the webinar. You can go to the go to the website. This webinar is recorded. Is it both for boys and girls? Uh, are you asking about the program? I guess you're asking about the accommodation probably. So the boys and girls will be staying in separate hostels, separate residential complexes. Uh, how many people to mentor the kids? 
if you're asking about on campus mentoring uh so there will be one undergraduate taking care of two kids and we also have a matron who's a teacher from a school uh who will be managing them only kids or one guardian allowed we only let uh, kids to stay there's no guardian guardians cannot stay only the this is uh this is a school program so it will be only kids uh, will the 12th standard students as of May 2024 be provided mentoring after the program ends? Yes, yes, of course. So once you are in the summer program, the program doesn't enter with this, uh, I mean, end with the summer. So you will be spending one month with us and then you will be having uh, 10 months of online mentoring. So if you're in 12th standard, of course, you will be attending your one month of program and then you will have the mentoring. So then you will complete one full cycle. Uh, our teachers are not allowed to share their personal number with us. So is it okay if we leave the contact number of principal blank? Yeah, it is an optional, it's an optional thing. But we need a, a POC uh, from your end because sometimes it's easy for us to coordinate it. Are there two rounds of application? If yes, when is the date for the second round? Uh, so we are actually contemplating to push uh, uh, push this round to the second round to December. Uh, we will get, keep you informed about that. But then please do apply as soon as you can. Uh, okay. When the online test, the test will be on 3rd February, what is the gender split of the chosen students? 50-50. Uh, what resources will be, will be provided to all of us if we got selected? So uh, your um, transport will be taken care of. Okay, so you will have to book your tickets, but then it will be getting reimbursed as soon as you enter the campus. This is just for us to assure you come because otherwise, if we book tickets for you, there are many cases where people cancel and we lose money uh, because we don't know each one of you individually. So once you come into the program, we, we reimburse it. So essentially, there's no cost involved for your transportation. And we will take care of your accommodation and your meals. And uh, also, we will uh, uh, try to uh, uh, you know give you some goodies, uh, which could involve uh, full scopes, telescopes, and things like that. So and also all the resource materials. Most of it is online. We don't like really believe in wasting paper. So most of it is online, but you will have access to it. You will also have access to the vast e-resources of the Ashoka library. So I can see there are some questions on the chat box also. I guess uh, most of the questions are answered. Um, because I can see that Urvashi and uh, Kishore has been quite instrumental in answering all the questions. So if you don't have any questions, we can actually close a webinar. If you have anything to ask in particular, please raise your hand. That's also one way to for us to know. Okay, there's somebody who raised a hand. I'll just unmute. Yes, Alsana, can you unmute yourself and speak? So uh, my daughter uh, is not part of Akanksha student. She is in some other school, but she has mm. also applied uh, for the thing, uh, mm. for the program. Now, mm. the thing is I have given the letter to the school for the POC details, but yeah. in case they do not give it in time, uh, can mm. I put my name and number as the POC for the same? That's fine. That's fine. See, if we are asking for the POC just because, you know, uh, uh, a lot of these students who come to the program are also from underprivileged background and their parents are not educated. So they can't be a POC uh, just because it's difficult for us to explain to them and for them to understand. So uh, I, I know that you, you are aware of all that. So that, that's completely fine. We are yeah. asking for mainly for that. All right, all right. Thank you. No problem. Is there any other, I can see two more questions. Will there be any prizes given to the best students? No, I don't think we, we are or anybody of, any one of us are capable of saying that you are the best student or something because I think everybody is best in their own way. So it's not a competition at all. Uh, in fact, the, the, the principle of the program is the other way that we don't create a competition and that once you come into the program, 
uh, that you are free to explore yourself and the program helps you to grow. So everyone is best. So we don't give any prizes. We just give a certificate. So we give a certificate, one certificate at the end of the summer program saying that you have completed the summer module. And then we give another certificate if you have attended the online mentoring and if you complete the 10 months online after that, you will get a completion certificate that you have completed everything about Lodha Genius program for that year. And of course, if you are uh, if you want to come back next year without entrance exam, without an application, you can come back. Our school provides us with grade, not percentage. In that case, what should we do? Just type just type the grade. You can write A, B, or whatever it is. That's fine. Will there be chances to interact with Ashoka professors? Of course. I mean, the whole thing of doing at Ashoka is that you have access to all the systems and uh, uh, you can interact with the students at Ashoka, professors at Ashoka. Yes, of course. And uh, please do let us know if you want to have some meeting with somebody in particular. We will be happy to do that once you're in the program. Do you offer deferred admissions? If one gets in this year, can they choose to attend next year? No. Uh, once one gets in this year and you have to come. Otherwise, you have to go through the whole drill again. My daughter's 8th grade report card, SEM 1 report card is not yet available. So what do I do about it? If you could put in a 7th grade or 6th grade or 5th grade report card, that will do. Any, any two report cards is good. Will we get certificates for attending the test? No. Uh, from the website or we'll get email for the same. I don't know what that means. Uh, how can I prepare for the entrance exam? Uh, you don't have to prepare. As I said, it's something which is uh, very, uh, uh, very much there in you. And if you have been reading things, if you have been looking around, I think you will be able to do it. Uh, so watch the webinar from the beginning to see uh, what is the, you know, how the test is designed. Do the students need to carry a laptop or any device? Yes, uh, it will be better if you can carry a laptop uh, because we will have a lot of analysis to do. Uh, and all the modules, a lot of modules would require a laptop. Uh, but if you don't have a laptop or you don't have the money to buy a laptop, please let us know. We can do some sort of an arrangement to uh, get you a laptop for that moment. But if you do have a laptop, please bring your laptop. Uh, there is a block where it is mandatory to submit percentage as an aggregate percentage. Uh, are you talking about the scorecard? Yeah, but she's typing the answer, so I guess. How will the roommates be set? Would it be students from separate grades or same? Uh, We'll try to keep it the same. It won't be a ninth grader with a 12th grader, no. Is, is it okay if we have got a low percentage in our exam? Or will not select? Yeah, so it doesn't matter about your marks in your exam. The mark sheet is just for us to understand um, uh, where you stand in the academic thing. It is not for us to judge or it is not for us to make a selection at all. So that's fine. Uh, we have to apply for the program from the website or we'll get email. So if you go to the website, so in the chat box, the early, uh, earlier Manvindra has put in uh, the website address, lodhageniusprogram.com. So just click on the website, you will see an orange apply now button. Just click on the button and then uh, it will take you to the uh, application portal. Yeah, Manvindra has again put the a website address so just click on the website you will see the button apply apply now click on the button it will take you to the uh, portal um is it possible for my child to stay with his friend no no uh so uh you have to i mean it's it's the assignment is done in a way which is uh random but class wise and gender wise uh so uh but we do not encourage this kind of, uh, you know, staying together with somebody. You don't have to worry about it. There are many people taking care of the student, the kid. Uh, and uh, it has worked very beautifully last year. And you create more connections, more friends. So it is, it's a really nice, uh, a nice thing for them to make new friends. So uh, they don't, you don't have to worry about them. And 
the person is going to see the other uh, his friend every day. So that's fine. If someone is having problem in communication skills, like problem in understanding languages, then what he, she can, she should do. So don't worry about it. We have an office of learning support. So in the application itself, there is a column where you have some challenges and what service you want to avail from Ashoka. So you can always tick that and uh, we will help you uh, with the learning process. And there is an, this office of learning support will make sure that this a uh, uh, student is well integrated into the program and uh, just write to us at Loda Genius program at ashoka.edu.in which is again given here in chat box if you if you need any special assistance we are happy to help we do not have laptops for all students but we can arrange Lenovo tabs for them will this work yes that will also work um, that will work if for someone having problem in communication skills, like problem in understanding, okay, no, this I have already done. Uh, can I get a recommendation from a teacher instead of the principal? Yeah, that is fine. That's fine. It just, but again, it's optional, so you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, you can get it from a teacher. What if the student is an introvert? Okay, you don't have to worry. We did have many introverts who became extroverts or stayed introverts. So it's a very interesting mix of students coming from different backgrounds. And the beauty of it is there's a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning, meaning they're learning from all the students, they're learning from each other when they come into the program. So other than the academic curriculum and whatever we have designed, the idea of putting students from diverse backgrounds together is also that you talk to each other, you share your positive things, you share your confidence, you share your uh, outlook and everything. So, so that they get quite enriched that way and there is a very holistic development that comes across right so uh, you don't have to worry about that we'll take care of everything and we also have professionals taking care of this kid kids okay if they have any issues whether it has to do with they are feeling sad lonely isolated they could always talk to our center for well-being it's 24 7 open they're always there uh, and also we have an office of learning support so and ashoka as you know has a good reputation in dealing with the, these kind of uh, situations uh, and dealing with different kinds of students. So uh, you don't have to worry. And it's also good for the student to engage with many students. Uh, if we don't have a laptop, can we take a mobile? Yeah, is it compulsory to have a laptop? Of course, you can take a laptop, uh, I mean, mobile, uh, but we need a laptop. And if you don't have a laptop, uh, please let us know when, I mean, not now, but when once you're selected into the program, we will ask about this in the interview and also we'll send across a Google form so that we can see how we can help you. On which language the classes will be? It will be in English, but then uh, we'll also have mechanisms where we could sort of, uh, you know, help uh, the students integrate. So last time we had many students who understood English but couldn't speak English. But they, at the end of the thing, they could, um, I mean, English was better, but also they, we allow presentations in, uh, in Hindi or whichever regional language is Canada or anything. Uh, but uh, uh, they have to have a level of uh, comprehensive level. They, could un they can, should understand what people are saying. They don't have to communicate necessarily in English. What is the contribution amount? There is no amount. It's a zero, zero fee uh, thing. Even your transportation is taken care of. So there's no cost involved. It's a fully funded program, 100% scholarship program. Can parents visit during the program? Uh, parents can visit uh, during the weekends, but it, we strongly discourage it because it shouldn't affect the other kids because as, as I said, there are kids coming from different backgrounds and not many, and there are coming from far away. Not, uh, I mean, we have very few people from Delhi actually. So uh, it's just that when those kids' parents cannot afford to come and when you have parents coming and, you know, meeting the kids, uh, it might create some sort of an uncomfortable situation for them. So if you can find a way without bothering them, uh, best way to stay away so that the students can beyond your own uh, and uh, they will be completely safe you don't have to worry about it and uh, but then yeah just have to keep in mind there are other kids who might get affected because a certain parent comes and they might be missing their parents some kids might be staying out uh, from their place for the first time 
how many students will be selected for this program. We have total 180 seats um, and just go to the beginning of the webinar, you will find this information. So this will be recorded and you can get the recording in the website, which is www.lodageniusprogram.com. At what date we will have interview? We have not decided that. It will, should be somewhere in February. It won't be one date. It will be individual uh, dates. Uh, will all kids speak English? I don't speak Hindi. Is it mandatory? No Hindi. No, it's not mandatory. No Hindi. Uh, yes, most of the kids speak English. And some kids might uh, speak only in Hindi. Some people might speak uh, Telugu. But um, but it, you don't have to worry about it. They, they always find a mechanism to communicate with each other. But the uh, medium of instruction is English. Uh, please tell on what basis the students are selected. Students are selected on basis of the test, which I discussed in this webinar. So please go to the beginning of the webinar. If you have not seen, this is recorded and will be available on our website. What type of education or activities will be imparted? I already explained that. Please go to the beginning of the webinar and you will find the answer. Uh, uh, let's see if we have, I guess we sort of tried answering most of the questions. If you want to ask something, you can still raise your hand. Okay, when we will get test result, as we will have to book tickets, if you are selected, it will be vacation time. So you should be getting the test result in one week, within one week of the test, which is in um, before the 10th of February. We will get an email before interview because in fact there are classes. Yes, yes, I mean, you will be getting an email or a text because you've given your phone number, right? So we'll try and contact you like that. And so don't have to worry about it. There will be votes. It will be in a time convenient to you, the interview. It will not be on one particular date. It is depending on your convenience. Uh, will interview be online or offline? It will be online. It will be even a phone call because not everybody has laptops and all that. So online, uh, I mean, it will be phone call. Will the students receive scorecard for the test? No, we do not give out the scores. Okay, I guess um, we finished most of the questions and I'll just wait for a minute to see if there are any other questions. And please, if, if you don't have uh, any questions now and if you have questions later, uh, please uh, write to us in the email ID, which is provided, uh, Loda Genius Program at ashoka.edu.in. What's my name? My name is Ambika. Uh, and also, there we have the application deadline on 30th November, so please do apply fast. Um, it's not a complicated application form. In in fact, if you find it complicated on the website, there is an instruction as to how to fill in the application. There are webinars we have done to show how to fill in the application. Please do go back to these webinar videos, go back to the instruction manual on the website to see uh, if, if you face any difficulty. If you still face any difficulty, please call us in our helpline number, which is given in the beginning of the chat. Maybe Manvendra can put it back again, the whole message. Uh, and uh, uh, write to us and we, we are there to help you. Thank you, Asmit. Um, how many applications do you approximately receive? What's the ac acceptance rate of this program? Uh, so last time we received around 1,000 applications and I think 100 students got in, but this time we plan to have much more intake than that, as I discussed in the beginning. Okay, there is uh, Samia who wants to speak. I'm just going to let her speak. Hi, Samia. Hi, this is actually Samia's mom. Hi. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. One was the application, second, uh, the deadline is 30th, right? That is yes. for the application from the student. Yeah. Um, the letter of recommendation, if the school can provide one, uh, mm -hmm. need not necessarily be from the principal, but could be from the head of school, right? Yeah. And yeah. then uh, that could come a little later, like maybe a week down the line. Yes, yes. And it's also optional. 
it's 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 fine yeah okay now i just wanted to double check do we have a little like, surplus time for that that's it. yeah 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 Take it mm-hmm. okay yeah. thank you ambika ma'am yeah no problem okay one second we have another question uh okay kishor is typing the answer is there any format for submitting letter from the school so there's actually a a place in the application portal where you have to enter the email id of the person who's giving you the recommendation and then there's a notification who's going to that person and you will also receive a notification saying that the letter is submitted and all that um and the person has just to open that link and then keep ticking uh, some of the boxes that's it and if you have any difficulty please call the number which is again given in the chat box and my team will help you will you be there for the program yes i will be there i will be staying for a period of one month so i usually live in delhi i don't live in sonipat but then for the program i'm there 24/7 in sonipat so you don't have to worry about that at all uh what would you do if someone has a has got a low percentage in their exams but he has done his test very well and if someone has got a high percentage in his test and he has done his exam very well so seat is available for only one student mm okay so this is why i mean we have a huge shortlist and this is where we sort of do the interview and uh, find what is the intent so if there is some some uh, you know if that person is more enthusiastic and things like that we will take a call depending on that but otherwise yeah but we we don't look at the ac- academic records at all so that doesn't matter so that's completely out yes eager to meet you too asmit uh do we have any more questions as i said you can always contact us offline also um even if you don't have any questions right now if you're confused please call us on that number and also write to us and we will uh, respond to you asap uh i am in 10th i'll go to 11th grade in the month of may so do i need to give percentage of class 9 or 10 yeah uh 9 or 10 but if you don't have it give it 8th or 9th that's that's completely okay all right um do we have any more questions great i think we co- covered most of the questions okay i i think we can close the webinar now and uh, please watch the webinar uh, if you didn't understand anything maybe i was too fast for you i was not clear so you could always attend the webinar uh, the recording is there and it is uh, on the website so please go and watch it and there are many many more webinars on different different subjects whatever you were asking it's there so please go and see those webinars also because it'll help you clarify a lot of your doubts okay all right so i guess thank you uh, urvashi kishore and manvendra for uh, typing all the questions putting everything on chat box because that's how we could cover or some 149 130 30 140 questions and thank you everyone for attending it and being very patient um, so i guess i can see many of you or your students or your uh, daughter or son um, or your niece or nephew during the program so please do apply before november 30th and we have a deadline and uh, please let us know if you have anything so with that have a very good saturday and uh, and sunday and see you bye bye